It was the solar flares that took out various communication, data, and satellite networks yesterday. I had thought I made a good enough case in our two previous videos, but I see I need to do better. So, let me put the nail in the coffin, end the story, finalmente. So, the three things you are hearing online are hacking, an AT&T software update, or the solar flares. Now, first things first. When the government is saying hacking, AT&T is saying it was a software update, and the news is giving a mix of those depending on what channel you're watching, that should be a huge red flag. They are scrambling, panicked that you're going to realize it was the sun, and they can't get their story straight. The fact that the least trustworthy sources, the government, news, and corporations, are saying either hacking or software update should probably give you pause. Let's go ahead and take that a step further. The fact that it was widespread is a huge clue, and first, initially, debunks AT&T's story about a software update. It doesn't yet debunk the hacking, but we'll get to that. So folks, the news was only focusing on AT&T, but it was so much more than that. And while some secondary cellular networks do use AT&T towers, many of these were not at all related to AT&T, or even cellular networks. There is simply no way that a software update within AT&T did all of this. That doesn't even... So that's a report from a guy named Suspicious Observer. SO, check out his channel. Shout out to SO, right? Shout out to everybody who understands the electric sun, that the sun is not hydrogen, but our sun is actually electrical, right? And... Um, so I want to talk about a dream I had, but I wanted to play some of that because right before that happened, I had a dream and, um, I had a dream and then it, it, twice, like I went to sleep and I woke up and in a panic, I knew something was wrong. Like the lights wouldn't come on or some shit. And I always keep a flashlight by my bed. Um, so the lights wouldn't come on. And, and I recommend everybody do that, like, as far as, like, staying prepared for emergencies. Like, always keep a flashlight next to you, in your nightstand, right next to your bed, where you can just reach out and grab it. Um, I don't I do not do a lot. I don't talk about a lot of that kind of shit on, on this channel. Sometimes, but just to touch on that. So, um, but you, you know the drill. I mean, so, but yeah. So in a dream, um, I woke up and I was, I, I, like intuitively, I panicked because I knew something was wrong. Like I woke up and I immediately said, what the fuck is going on? And I reached over and I, and I guess, I, I think I tried to cut the lights on and the lights, my, my, my light wouldn't come on. But it was more than that. Like I had this, this feeling, like an eerie feeling, like, like the whole earth had changed. Something had changed. While I was asleep and so the light wouldn't come on and then right after that I grabbed my flashlight out my you know one of my flashlights out my drawer mind you I keep I keep um super strong flashlight because I use them for self-defense right because a flashlight like if you want to use you can use flashlights for self-defense like if somebody approaches you you should always keep like before you escalate a situation so um like Generally, like, let's say you're, you're getting out of your car and you have some weirdo approach you, like if you're a woman or dude or anybody. Now, before you escalate to, like, a knife or some type of uh, other device, right, you, it's always good. You could use a flashlight. If it's a strong enough flashlight, and then you can just flash it in their face, like, and because the light will hurt a person's eyes, and so they'll back up. You know what I mean? And even an animal, too, right? So animal, human, whatever, a, a light alien <laughs> a light in the eyes will probably you know cause discomfort and, and they'll stop what they're doing and then it'll give you a minute to you know you know escalate or you know make moves or whatever so i recommend keeping a flashlight you know at least a thousand to 1500 lumens so anyway so i got up <clears throat> so i grabbed my i grabbed my when i realized the light wouldn't uh, come on and I felt weird, like I started, pan I was not panicking, but I don't panic, but I was, um, I don't know, my intuition kicked in, my spider sense kicked in, and um, it, 
was just tingling. Like I knew I could feel it in the air. Like something was wrong, right? And it was, it wasn't normal. Something wasn't normal. It wasn't just the light not coming on. So I reached in the drawer, I grabbed my flashlight. This is super, like I said, super bright. This is 15, at least 1500 lumens. Now that's, that's really bright. So for a small flashlight. So I clicked it on. And when I clicked it on, it it was like almost like it didn't do anything. It was like the darkness was absorbing the light. Almost like imagine you were in like outer space, like space had came down to Earth, right? Because you can imagine like if you're in outer space um, or a black hole, or outer space or something like that, or even under the ocean. You could imagine like if you're under the ocean, right? and there is no light around and you click on, I don't give a fuck how bright the, the light is, you click on a super bright light, well it's, it's triple stage darkness so that light ain't gonna go very far you know what I mean? Like, and it was kind of that type of effect like, it was even worse than that, it was almost like I was underwater or in space or something like everything around me was, it was so dark, the the it's almost like the air around me was absorbing the light. And it freaked me the fuck out because I expected the light to light up the whole room, but it didn't. It only lit up maybe like, I don't know, like maybe six inches from the light. That's how dark it was. It was weird. It, it maybe six inches from the light. And I was like, what the fuck is, what the fuck is going on? What is this? I, I've never experienced anything like this. And so I started grabbing other shit. Like my phone has a has a light on it. I tried to turn that on too. And I was scrambling trying to turn these motherfucking lights on, trying to see, you know, like, trying to light up this room, like trying to figure out what is this weird darkness that has engulfed me. And um, and then I, I went back to sleep. Some, somehow I, I wound up. Well, yeah, no, no, I woke, I'm sorry, I woke up from the dream. And so when I woke up from the dream, I was like, what the fuck was that? So I was like, wow, that was super weird. And so nothing really bothers me that much anymore. Like, I kind of just looked around. Um, and then I went, I was like, fuck it. And I just went back to sleep. Um, I, don't, I don't scare that easy. <laughs> so I was like, whatever, I went back to sleep. As soon as I went back to sleep, I had the same fucking dream. Like, I went right back into the same dream. Like, it happened, right? It happened all over again, right? I go I go to sleep. I, I wake up in the dream. I'm like, oh, shit, it's super, it's dark. What is it? You know what I mean? I like, I reach out, try to turn the light on. Light doesn't come on. I grab the flashlight, trying to light up the room. It's like the, the, the darkness is absorbing the light. It was just super dark. And and it was nothing I could do to light. You know what I mean? Like my lights weren't. The lights were on and working. My flashlights, but the darkness was just absorbing the light. I don't. I couldn't understand it. It was freaking me out because I wasn't panicked, but it was freaking me out because I've never seen anything like that. Where, like I said, I felt like I was underwater or um, in space where it was just so. You know, so dark, and the environment was just absorbing the light, almost right up to the light. Like it, it, it wasn't really going anywhere. As opposed to, you know, 1500 lumens, it'll light up a fucking, you know, 800 square foot room. And so I was like, what the fuck? And then I woke up. And but then a few days later, this happened, this outage, and. So people were saying it was hacking and stuff like that, but SO, he said, nah, this, this shit is a CME, and he, he made the case. And I said, okay, okay, makes sense. So what I think, um, what I think is gonna happen is, um, yeah, I think there, there's, the Bible talks about three days of darkness, right? and uh, stuff like that. So, and then I've had dreams before. I had another dream. And in that dream, uh, I forget what, 
it's around somewhere. I, I write all my dreams down. But in that dream, um, um, the sun, well, I had two dreams. Um, in the dream, one of the dreams, the sun malfunctioned and it started spitting out CMEs and it was releasing a, a type of radiation and it was burning people's skin. And then people started getting sores on their skin from the sun. And it was even zombifying people. And they were becoming violent. And I got in a fight with a guy in these dreams. And the sun turned like weird colors. And then this happens with 18, you know, but, but these dreams I had a while ago, like a couple of years ago. But I got to thinking after this event, and I watched a video where SO was saying that it looks like it was a CME, right? They did this, they knocked out everything, and that they're lying about it. And I was thinking to myself, well, why would you lie about it, right? Why would you lie and say it's a software glitch when when it was really um, a CME that caused everything to malfunction, right? Unless there's something bigger coming and, you know, they don't want to panic the sheeple. So they're like, fuck it, don't tell them. Just, you know, just make up an excuse. Tell them that, you know, tell them that it's a software glitch. Don't tell them that the sun is going to be spitting out huge CMEs that are going to disrupt cell phone service, you know, uh, banking, uh, electrical grids going to go down. It's going to be dark everywhere, right? Let's, um, let's take a look at some scripture real quick, and I'm going to wrap. So in this verse in Amos 5 and 20 says, Shall not the day of the Lord be darkness and not light, even very dark, no brightness in it? So when I, when I had that dream, and then I saw this situation with the CMEs, knocking out the pot, knocking out the, um, the phones and, and different things, um, I started thinking about that, right? So, where Amos says, shall not the day of the Lord be darkness and not light, even very dark and no brightness at all? And that's how it was in my dream. It was very dark. It was a darkness unlike I, could, I couldn't explain. I couldn't explain why it was so dark. Like, this was, this was different. This was different than just the lights being out. This was a situation where the, I felt like the light was being absorbed. It was very dark. Stand by. Another another prophecy from Amos, and I believe these are end time prophecies. Um, that end times being the times that we are in now, 2024. These uh, feedback and coord these feedback and correlate with uh, 2024 and the times that we're in now, in this timeline. And you'll know very quickly, you know, because either the things will happen very quickly or they won't. Um, and that's what we call feedback. It's not like it's going to go on forever. Amos 5 and 18, Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. To what end is it for you? The day of the Lord is darkness and not light. You see? So he says, when the Lord of hosts comes, it shall be a dark day. Right? It's going to be a dark day in many ways, like physically dark, right? And then also dark for the people, but the, the, the evil, ignorant people, right? For the wicked and the ignorant, right? It's going to be a dark day for you or for them, right? I so said that, that day of the Lord, so when the Lord of hosts shows up, it's not going to be like, it's going to be fucked up. Right? It's going to be a bad situation. That's what it's saying. Right? Particularly people saying, I want to see Jesus. I want to see Jesus. I'm ready for Jesus to come and all of that kind of stuff. It tells you that these people, they're not real. You know? They're not real. They don't understand what they're talking about. You don't want to see the Lord of hosts. But you have, you have to. But if you read the prophecy, that's how I said you can. I said in my last video, you can tell a Satanist whatever they say, it's the opposite. When you read the Bible, it'll be the opposite. You can say, "Wow, I heard this person. They said they was a man of God, but they said this." And then when I read the Bible, it was the opposite of what they said, because they're not a man of God. They're a Satanist. 
And if you ask me, I'll say, I'm not a Satanist. Okay. You're just a useful idiot. But you are a Satanist. Right? So the day of the Lord shall be darkness and not light. Right? As it said, no light in it. Meaning, something's going to happen that's probably going to knock out the power. Not only, and, and a lot of bad things are going to be happening. Right? And I hate to be like, you know, Debbie Downer or whatever. But that's what it says. And based on what I'm saying, I have no reason not to believe it. If I, if it said that the day of the Lord was going to be light, parties, um, champagne bottles popping, popping bottles with models, right? And all that shit, then I would just say that. <laughs> right? I would just say, okay, that's what it says. And that's not what it says. So... I can't be a Satanist and be wicked and misrepresent the text. I have to say what the text say, right? For, for the truth said, the truth sake, and as the Bible said, the truth shall set you, set you free, right? Stand by. So, I think I'm, this is the last one I'm going to do. It's a couple of other verses, man. I don't want to make this too long. Matthew 24 and 29. What is Matthew, right? For the Satanists <laughs> and for all the, I mean, the Christians, sorry, right? Matthew is uh, direct quotations from the man that most people ignorantly call Jesus Christ. Right? And what did, what did he say? He said, immediately after the tribulation of those days shall, shall the sun be darkened and the moon shall not give her light and the stars shall fall from heaven and the powers of the heavens shall be shaken. You got to understand what the powers of the heavens are, right? You see all these UFOs, the powers of the heavens, right? The sun shall be darkened, and the moon shall not give its light. Well, goddamn, if that happens, it's going to be really dark. And more than likely, um, you're going to get a CME or something to that effect. So you get a CME that knocks out all the power. Right? Something to that effect. And then um, the, the sun also malfunctions and goes dark. Right? You get like huge sunspots across the sun that damn near black the sun out. Right? If you don't know what a sunspot is, you look it up. So you get like some type of malfunction in the sun showing like, a, like with huge sunspots that make it dark. And then it's, it even, and, and we all know that the moon gets, where does the moon, why is the moon uh, it's a science lesson for you, right? Because you can't read the Bible and be a dumbass, right? You can't be read the Bible and be a stupid-ass fanatic. The Bible is not for that. You have to be intelligent and you have to be intuitive to understand the Bible. It's not a book for dummies, right? Because all you do is be wind up a Satanist unknowingly, letting somebody teach you the Bible and you don't have no intuition and you don't have no intelligence, right? So, how does the moon get its light? The moon gets its light from this reflection of the sun. That's how the moon gets its light at night, you see. Reflections of the sun onto the moon causes it to, to light up, you see. And then you see you see the moon bright in the sky, you see. So, if the sun is dark, then of course the moon shall not give her light. That means that whatever's going on, it's got something to do with the sun. And then the sun also then causes the moon not to light up. Again, maybe huge sunspots or something on the sun causing it to be dark, you see, or much, much darker than it usually is because of these huge sunspots popping all up over the sun or only other thing I can think of is um, like a huge space station blocking the sun and the moon like a bunch of huge spaceships like the Death Star from Star Wars blocking the sun right more than but more than likely I'm thinking of CMEs and then huge sunspots right block out you know cause the sun uh, the sun malfunctions and then spits out CMEs damages the earth, um, the electrical infrastructure on the earth, 
and then um, causes the moon not, you know, doesn't have enough light. And so that just causes everything to be super dark because there, there will be no street lights. There will be no light from the moon, no street lights, right? No electrical lights. No sunlight, you know, limited sunlight. So in a lot of places it would be really fucking dark. So, I don't know, that, that, I thought that kind of coincided with that dream I had, so, um, but there's some more verses on that, but that's all I'm going to do for that right now, that's all I got.